Most people think Epson and they think of printers, right? Like the consumer grade printer. Okay. If you're familiar with projectors, Epson is by far the world leader. Okay. Like roughly a 50% market share worldwide. Yep. So Epson's expertise in this area is where these came from. They said, look, projectors are big. How can we miniaturize them and make them portable? And each side of those glasses, there's two He's tiny projector panels. Yes. These are now OLED projector panels. So one on each side. So and they just figured that's a new way we can leverage existing R&D, existing engineers, kind of the way they know how to design. And they built it into this form factor. So Gen 1, it was more just a dev kit. Just understanding like, hey, what do we do? You know, like this, this is a new way for projection to work. Run out Gen 1 was huge and people just started putting motion sensors, IR cameras, turning into night vision, you know. You give people a platform and they'll turn it into anything. Yeah, get creative. What was the expected use for that when you had some built in? The very first was just kind of open. We literally just launched it as a dev kit. So it came out in 2010, excuse me, 2011, 2012, right around when Google Glass came out. And when Glass got a lot of attention, but admittedly some bad attention, our company is based in Japan, Seiko Epson, and they're very conservative. They go, oh, no marketing. Dev kit only. We don't want people thinking this is, you know, they didn't want the bad press. Then Gen 2, we launched more as a combination of a dev kit and an enterprise tool. People were wearing it to, like, fix car engines or put schematics up or work instructions. And Gen 2 is when DJI's pilot started flying with it. And that's when they converted and said, okay, let's make this work with DJI aircraft. Now to both your points, now that we have been well with them, they're going, wait a minute, what about all these other manufacturers? So now they're way more open to alternate input. So it'll get there at some point.